Hello everyone. Now we will continue our learning on reservoir modeling and reservoir simulation using Petrel RE. So this is our current model. Previously, we construct this model and then we have created one properties, which is cell height. Okay, so now we have one property, which is cell height. Okay. By the way, if I right click here, and then I can show or hide grid lines. Now you can see the grid. Now we will create other basic properties like porosity and permeability. Okay, first of all, all right. And then to create properties, we can here right click and then calculator. So we can use calculator to construct or to populate the model with properties. Okay, so this is a very, very interesting and important and useful tool for us to construct, distribute, populate, properties okay the first one is look at this one if you open the drop down menu you can find many parameters or many properties inside okay you can find for example porosity by just looking at the initial letter can we find porosity Poro, poro, this is the completion. Porosity, yeah, maybe it's not that easy. Porosity and faster way to obtain the porosity is actually by typing on this filter templates. Just type in poro, for example. And you can see now we have the porosity. And if you open the drop down menu, you can find porosity and then porosity effective and total porosity. Okay, now I will select effective porosity. Okay, and then now I just want to type in the formula. Okay, the formula, the first thing is the code for the porosity. And the code is poro. Okay, poro, you can type in equals to the value of the porosity that you want. Okay, for example, I want to construct first a homogeneous reservoir with the similar uniform porosity. And for example, I want the porosity to be 1.18. Okay, and if I click enter, you will see porosity will be in this properties folder. So let's click enter. Now you can see I have the name Poro here in this folder, properties folder. And then if I select the Poro, I will have this one. So the blue color shows the value actually of the porosity and the value is 0.18. I can also right click and then adjust color. Scale colors to filter cells only. For example, if we click yes, okay. But the value is still 0 0.17. And then you can also change the setting for the porosity by clicking on this one and then porosity or the setting okay but first let's see if we toggle the background this one toggle background i think it will be better okay and then for example if we Right click here, 
adjust color. Okay. All right, by the way, I don't want the reservoir to be a homogeneous reservoir. I want to distribute different values of properties of porosities. I can use that by going back to the calculator. So this is the condition where the porosity is homogeneous, 1.0.18. I can go back to the calculator, right click on the porosity calculator. Okay, 